We started this project looking at inclusive career development for young people with a disability because we were quite aware and there had been quite a bit of research to show that young people with a disability were missing out on career opportunities. So they're less likely to do things like work experience while they're sco at school. They're less likely to get um, have the opportunity to do career um, development activities. The research shows that you know those early years of having sort of participation and exposure and even young people you know having themselves think of an idea of having a job and seeing themselves as workers um, in that school start in that school phase is really critical and important for them later in life. So it just seemed really important that we we do something to support schools to um, do better work around including young people with a disability in career development and activities at school to increase their connection to the world of work. So we worked together on the project, we're funded by the Gandel Philanthropy, um, to look at you know, what could we develop that could really support schools to better support their students with disability. As a part of the project, we've developed a benchmarking tool which allows schools to um, look at what would be best practice for inclusive career development in the school and how they can rate their own school, uh, what they're currently doing, and work towards setting goals um, to move towards best practice. We've put together some resources, some checklists and guides and information to support career practitioners in schools, as well as a whole school approach to inclusive career development uh, for all sorts of school settings. Um, to guide them in the practice of making sure all children with disability are included in opportunities to think about career planning, work experience, transition pathways, just to make sure that they're, they're included in every step of the way in their career development journey. The guide's been good because I can look at that and evaluate our school's performance and say, well, these are areas that I'd like us to improve or these are goals that we'll have for the next year or year after the guide enables me to evaluate what we're doing and to say well okay if we're not meeting that benchmark is that a conscious decision of ours or is that an area that we need to improve on. The guide has supported me at our school in my role as careers co uh, manager to make sure that what we are doing is correct in supporting our students with a disability and it also opened our eyes to what we could possibly do a little bit better. It's just the guidelines it's something that we haven't thought about before um, I suppose being in a mainstream school, we don't focus purely on students with disabilities. Our students with disabilities are integrated into the whole school. And so it's just making sure that those students do have that extra support. And having those guidelines there can help us for that, like the select group of students. One of the things that we've found is, is from all of the participating schools is there's a real need for some guidance and support um, and a real passion for disability inclusion. It's been really good to talk to other people about what they're doing and really to see the potential that's out there um, and also to celebrate some of our successes as well and see what we've achieved as a school and, and our students' successes. So yeah, it's been worthwhile.